And you would be hard pressed to find an artist more humble than Dean Brody. But with the accolades just piling up year after year, you would think Dean himself would have to admit he's kind of a star. 2013 has seen Dean take home the CCMA Award for Male Artist of the Year again. He's been named one of Hello Canada's 50 Most Beautiful Canadians. And now his fourth CD, Crop Circles, has just been released. We are thrilled to have Dean in studio with us this morning. Hello. Hello. That's, how are you? That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. You are humble, though. I was at the CCMAs, and I, I watched you accept that award, and you always seem taken aback still after all of this. Yeah. You don't take it for granted, do you? No, not at all. I mean, I, I uh, you know, a lot of people that I respect so much in the industry are there in that room, so it's it's uh, it's kind of intimidating, actually. To, really? Yeah. Oh man, when Jimmy Rankin hands you an award, it's like, it, I, I still I'm such a huge fan myself of music, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's always a great surprise when you win. If that ever started slipping away, you'd probably have to start thinking twice too, right? Like if you if you just sort of stopped respecting the circles that, that you're in. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah, I think that'd be dangerous and kind of, I don't know, just how, how can you? It's, there's so much amazing music out there and amazing musicians. Well, let's talk about your new uh, album, Crop Circles. This is actually, you know, a lot of times I'll be sitting with an artist and say, what, what took you so long mm. to put out your next album? But this actually didn't take very long. This is it's just, fast, It's yeah. very fast. They're coming, like, I think 18-month interval, intervals, so. It's uh, no pressure to write or anything, but yeah, uh, because I write a lot by myself, it is a little bit of pressure to come up with those albums uh, in a year and a half segments, but so far, so far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. And is there anything sort of thematic about the, the crop circles? I know you, and your, your tour is called Crop Circles and Tractor Beans? Yeah. It's country. It sounds country <laughs> to me. Maybe it's not, but crop circles, farms, farmers, aliens. You know. It is country, and again, going back to the CCMA performance that I saw, uh, and by the way, it was one of my favorites, and with Lindy Ortega, who yeah. is an artist that people should also be looking out yes. for. Um, it really goes deep into country roots, mm -hmm. the style. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that, that it's kind of almost a rootsy song, and it's funny because we have a, an ebo in that song, which mm -hmm. is an electric guitar that's, that's growling underneath the whole thing, and, and Matt, my producer, and I, were, we were both like, is this going to be too weird for country music? And But no, people actually think it's rootsy, which is cool, because there's like this really psychedelic <laughs> guitar going on through the entire song. It, do, it does. It sounds kind of old school. Now you.